Miari, gena usakasakabo, hola y buenos dia, hello and good day. It's Elba again, aka Phoenix Taino, playing some more wakfu. Okay, so on the screen you will see that I have not only changed the name of my sedita to Watuyanani, which is my Taino name, but I also have created two other characters. Uh, the second character is Ebunaru, who is a SRAM, and the tertiary character is Gatirahu, and she is a uh, Uganak, if I'm not mistaken. Um, basically, I, I took Nichi's advice, Nichi being my cousin, who has played this game before and you know knows way more about it than I do, and went through the six uh, one-star difficulty characters, and I just couldn't make up my mind between um, the SRAM and the Uganok, so I just made one of each character. Um, I got, what, two more slots left? So, um, yeah, I can have one for another secondary character, or not secondary, uh, two-star character, and one for a three-star character and then go about getting more slots later. Um, but right now I'm gonna stick to these three, the Sedita, because that's the character that I am mostly in love with. Um, I, the, and the reason I say mostly and not fully is because I don't 100% understand how to use her yet. <laughs> and it's a little frustrating, but I'll get there. Um, in the meantime, I am trying to um, work with some easier characters to play as well which is why i chose two one star difficulty characters so um i noted that when i went after i created katirahu that the uh cut scene in the beginning is not you falling into you know the island debris it it's actually you crashing through the ceiling of um a an npc pappy pal who is somebody that when you first start playing once you get off re you have to meet him and they you know there's mention of your cr having crashed through the ceiling and i'm like what are they talking about now i know what they're talking about so i'm going to mute myself um that way when i go to hit play i won't be um, actually, no, no, I'm not going to mute myself because, um, I do want to read aloud what's on the screen just for greater accessibility. So yeah, here we go. Play. Okay, apparently it's not going to show the cutscene. I lied. I guess I will just have to remember, fingers crossed that I actually remember, um, I'll just have to remember to, um, see, you're at Pappy Pal's house. I'll have to remember to, like, before I hit play, when I create a fourth character, if and when that happens, um, I'm going to just have to remember to, um, just gonna have to remember. Oh, I'm gonna finish the sentence eventually. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> I, I, I can't help but tune into what my kids are talking about in the other room. Um, I'll just have to remember to stop and hit record and all of that before I hit play whenever I make another character. So, yeah, there's there's that. A few moments later. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna play. So, hello, little one. I'm the head of the Mercenaries Guild. What can I do for you? Mammy Pal asked me to bring you your Haven bag. Okay, so this is what we did in the other two games. We just didn't have to go through 
he doesn't have to start from level zero and then fight a bunch of rodents and all that stuff. It, if you um, opt after your first character to um, not go, th to go through the tutorial, you will automatically start at level six. That's, you know, good to know. Because um, my secondary character, I went ahead and went through the tutorial again only because I wasn't sure if I... There was a cutscene, right, that I wanted to be able to record that um, I had issues with um, getting a recording of the first playthrough. So then I started the tutorial. Turns out you don't need you don't you don't need to start um, you don't need to go through the tutorial for that cutscene to show up. Um, but then I learned after skipping the tutorial this time that there's a whole other um, version of how you start the game. So. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, you've got a rather thick skull. I wonder if, well, anyway, you certainly make a great mercenary, but you still need a little training. Would you like me to teach you how to be stronger? What's in it for me? Well done, kid. I like that idea. Start by heading to the mercenary's training room. It's not far from here. One of my young recruits is already practicing there. He's called the Astrup Knight. He'll be able to show you the ropes of being a good mercenary. Okay. And because I've played two other characters in the recent past, I know that it's a good idea to just go to Re and fight a bunch of Odin's, get to level 10, and then come back to Astra, which is where I'm at now. So that's what I'm going to do instead of going to the Mercenaries training room, which is literally this building right here. Excuse me, excuse me, don't mind me. Oh, this way. I'm starting to get a feel for this area because I've been running around so much. All right. Celestial Island of Re. And I love as well that um, because you start at Astrub and you don't have to do any of this stuff with um, Henri, uh oh, let's close that first. You don't have to do any of the stuff on Re, so there's not a bunch of random side quests. It kind of just, you know what I mean? Has you already at a level that you would be after you've done all the other random side quests, but I do still need to talk to, it looks like, Huli, Onomai, Aerina, and Keparelia. So. What else is there? Into the sanctuary. Okay, so it looks like those are the only things that I'm required to do. Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. That I'm required to do on re. So, come back. Baby, come back. All right, we're just gonna skip through this stuff. Um, if you want to have, um, you know, a slower, going through some of these quests that I'm doing now because I've already been through them then you guys need to go ahead and go to my YouTube and check out um, the Wakfu day one videos there's three of them so um, because I've already done this and it already exists on the internet with me doing it and reading through every little thing I'm skipping it this time we're just gonna move real fast so she wants me to harvest three rodents, kill three rodents, and then plant their seeds. So is there a rodent around here that's already got like three, three together? Because then I can, you know, three birds, one stone type, type deal. That's what I want to do. I don't want to have to do like two and three different battles. You know what I'm saying? We're going to expedite the process. Look, that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to do. Girl, you is facing the wrong way, first and foremost. I like that stance. You know what's funny is my daughter does this a lot. <laughs> just to be silly, she'll stand just like that. Okay. So, I recall correctly when I was deciding between the SRAM and the Uganok. The Uganok is fierce like a baddie an absolute baddie 
So if I stand, can I can I walk to you here? Okay, apparently that's not close enough. But at least do these. And then do these. There was one that did. What's this do? I don't remember. Oh, okay, so that that's something that the um, Sacrier does as well. Um, the Sacrier has a move that allows you to, um, I can't remember if it pulls you closer to the target or if it pulls the target closer to you, but either way, you get closer, you get closer. One square over. I could, I could literally knock y'all both out. What does this do? Oh, pulls you closer. All right. I'm gonna make you scared. No, I can't do that. Too far. Oh well, it's fine. I have plenty of health and stuff, so I'm not worried about uh, running out of time. In another, in, in, if I were under different circumstances, I would be, I would be mad that I ran out of time just now. Can I get closer to you? Because I feel like, yeah, I need to do that. Oh, I can't. Interesting. You're done. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, no. No, no, no. We're gonna move a square over first. Because you dumb dumbs are gonna get it now. Wait. Is this the one? Excuse you. Ah! There was one op <laughs> opportunity wasted. Girl, get back over here. Wait. Oh, well, I guess you are. <laughs> nah. What is happening? That's what's fucking me up. What is up with my keyboard? It's not doing any of the things that I want it to do. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. No, you I'm gonna bark at you. I'm growl at you. damage. See that? See that there? Yeah. Running out of time. Okay. So that wasn't too bad, but I did it did give me three kills I needed, so now I just need to harvest and plant seeds from some wardens. Where are they at? Why am I only seeing like one warden at a time? There's usually, they're usually all over the place. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Harvest. Harvest. 
harvest some more. Oh, cool. Ta da! One, two, and three. <clears throat> Usually there's like two rodents that come out once once the. Oh, we're not. What, what did we. Why did we suck our teeth? Why did we. Why, why? Well, sucking your teeth is more like a. Anyway, go back to Temporalia or Temporalia. I'm butchering these characters' names, and y'all know better because you watch the show or whatever. I'm so sorry. You're just gonna have to get over it. I took care of the rodents. Uh oh. That's the husband calling. Hold on. Just a second, guys. Okay, amigas, I am back. I am back. So, go back and talk to Capoeira. Wait. Yeah. How come I have three? You know what? I'm not even worried about it. I did not click that. Where are you at, friend? Where are you, ghoulie? Oh, there you are. Regeneration vials. Why is this still here? Cannot. Principal of ecosystem success. Can I make you go away now? Like, why are you still here? I've unlocked a new spell. Okay, cool. We will look further into this. Why you don't go away? You know what? Doesn't matter. Oh! Excuse you. Um, I can't see. <laughs> no me gusta. Alright. Got the regeneration vial. I already have regeneration vial. No, I don't. Aparentemente. And now we're done. What is that? Oh, it says XP. <laughs> it's weird that it says 769 whenever I put my mouse over it. Okay. So, complete the quest facing the boss. That's for later. That's for later. Vamos a hablar con. Wait, acabamos de estar donde está Otomai. I was right where Otomai, literally standing right next to him, and then was just gonna like walk, <laughs> walk away, like a pendeja. <laughs> 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 I don't have to do all of these, right? Because I think I heard it basically say you talked to him. Gave me the credit. Cool. I'm not looking forward to fighting, uh, going to the training ground with Arena. I thought I could skip all this stuff. The whole point of skipping the tutorial was to not have to do all this. I, I guess it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. 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 
so cute. Shit, I don't like, and it's not that I have a problem with the training, having to do training every time per se. It's the fact that like the line of sight shit <laughs> really fucked me up the first time, and then when I went to do it a second time with the with the secondary character, I, I still frustrated. Still don't fully understand. Like I understand that. Your spells, depending on your location and, lo and the location of, you know, enemies and your allies or what have you, your spells can't just, like, go through um, other entities or what have you. But, like, hmm. what I don't understand is you can be in an area where the target, where, like, visually, when you look with your, in real life eyeballs, there's nothing in the way. But the game is like, that's not in your line of sight. And you're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. I really gotta do all this shit again. Look, let me show you what I mean. We're gonna do the line of sight shit first. You'll see what the fuck I mean. I noticed that sometimes being where the blue squares are, um, the, the squares on the board that are lit up blue, uh, sometimes that helps you get in line of sight. And when I did with my secondary account, I noticed that corners, going to a corner almost always um, got me in a line of sight. I don't know if I just got lucky. Because I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I got lucky the first time as well as the second time. Because you have to get, you have to hit the target like three or four times within a 20 second period and you've only got so much time to figure out whether or not you're in the line of sight so it's just just wait for it y'all just wait for it see like i can go here that's obviously in the line of sight uh -huh. i can go here shouldn't be anything obstructing it right with your own in real life eyeballs i can get right up on him still not in the line of sight so last time what i did was hop in the corner and that works. So it looks like my theory is at least holding up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Also, I do have more than a twin. Like, look, there's technically nothing in my way, but still can't hit him from this from this square. I can, however, hit him from a corner. Anybody watching? Who is like, what the fuck? <laughs> and you're as newbie as I am. Just go to a corner. That seems to be, that seems to be a reliable uh, way of getting through. Wait, no, girl, you still got other stuff to do. <laughs> that wasn't the last one. I heal. Okay, I'm with Jokini. Well, you thought I left. <laughs> no, I didn't. Anna, it's the last one. Okay. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Placement. Mm hmm. What's this one? The placement test. So this one basically is like if you stand behind or to the side of a target, you will um, do more damage. So it wants me to get, it wants me to hit him from behind. And I'm going to try to refrain from making a joke involving dogs, because my character is a canine critter. Entity, I think would be the terminology. elements so this one if I recall correctly I gotta hit him with the right element elemental attack so right here see how it says zero percent that's telling me is we 
stick against water. If I were to hit him with a different element, it wouldn't work. And I gotta do something else. This one's weak. This punchy is weak against fire. Sorry, Mr. Bungie. This one's weak against earth, so we wanna use the corresponding attack. Through this much faster now that I've done it. Uh, the first time was just me actually learning. The second time was me running through everything ex and still struggling at the line of sight. But now it looks like, now it looks like from here on out I should be good, very good. All right, this one had me fucked up the first time too. They want you to get close and only use the highlighted attack. Every, this one's blocked out because they don't want you to use it. I thought, initially I thought the game was like, punch when you're close, spells when you're far. That was my reasoning, but that's not at all what this game wanted. And I don't know if it's because I'm neurodivergent or what, but I, I feel like these instructions could be more clear. Okay, this one is just use the appropriate attack. If I'm not mistaken, yup. Should still be able to hit all of y'all with that. And I should be able to still hit. Done. Now, none of them require for me to, but that third move basically hits in a circle. So if they were all in the right spot, I could kind of. Um, hit them all at the same time using the circle instead of the cross shape that was just on the thing or the square shape that was prior. Mm. You want to know what I'm talking about? Like I said earlier, go to my walkthrough day one videos on YouTube. Um, Taino Library is my at. And uh, yeah, you can you can see... You can see me do all this more slowly and read all the instructions out loud. And you can also watch me struggle. I'm telling you, I struggled. What am I doing? Oh, this is the push me, pull you shit. Okay. All right. So I didn't realize what all these things down here do. But once I did, I had it. I had it. So I'm going to go here. We're gonna switch with this guy. Now I'm gonna jump. Wait, let me. Wait, wait, wait. Jump over here. It doesn't always let you go where you wanna go. All right. Ran out of moves. So I'm just gonna push it onto the green square. Look at that. All right. I can switch with you. No. Oh, I have to click on you. Por pendeja. All right, now I can go here, and then we're gonna use the. No, we're not. We're gonna switch it up. Okay. Up here. Switch it to. Change. And don't let me go here. Push your ass. Where? Mm-hmm. Yup. And I don't even need to jump right now. I can just... No, I have to hit you. Not me. Sometimes I be forgetting, like, where I'm supposed to actually... Well, I can do it like this. It doesn't really matter. Either way. Ta-da! We did it! Oh, we 
these characters look cool. We got an angel, you got a halo on your head and everything. And you got like stars flying around you and shit. It says X, X. I'm assuming it's because they're part of an enemy nation. But I don't quote me on that because I don't I don't know hmm. what the hmm. designs around the name which one indicates which nation. I just know that I am a member of the nation. So fuck yeah. <laughs> Like if I if I didn't know better, I would have pronounced it uh, Sufokia, but apparently that's not how you pronounce it, and it makes me giggle every time. Every time I think about how um, how clever the game characters or game creators rather are. So wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh yeah, that's the that's the this. So red alert, inflict damage on Mr. Punch and you must attack him from a red cell. Okay, so we're gonna go here. And boom. Okay. To inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must end your turn six cells or more away from him. So we're just gonna go all the way over here. And then end the turn. Ta-da! Alright. To inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must attack him from the green cell. And then with this one, to inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must end your turn adjacent to him. Does this count as adjacent? Apparently not. Apparently I need to be directly next to him. Diagonally does not count. Okay. Now we know. Now we know. And am I done? Did I finish? Ew! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Now I gotta go to the Celestial Sanctuary and read the first fresco. Which, I know this game, I want to say the developers are French. I'm remembering the flag that's on the screen where you pick servers correctly. And, um, fresco in Spanish means French. Or not French, <laughs> fresco in Spanish means fresh. So I'm assuming it means something similar. In French, Pedate. Okay. Now I'm gonna read these frescoes in order. Ooh, very interesting. All right. Now time to mess with. Wait for it. Gragalora Grand. Oh shit! I said his name right. Again, anybody who has not seen my day one walkthrough i called this character every g name i could think of it was he was gilgamesh he was grogu he was gorgamagon he was he he was, i just could not get his name but now i now i got it i think i got it grogalora grand mm. yes yes sir all right now we're gonna now we're gonna talk to him he's gonna be like fight me and it's gonna be one of those in-game things where you're like oh my god i'm not even putting a debt in him i'm totally gonna die and the game's like haha you were never meant to beat him anyway <laughs> oh that's right so i'm just gonna sit here and there's literally no point in trying anything else i'm just gonna i'm just gonna punch at him see not even putting a dent now he's about to like throw flames on my ass. Not good enough, mortal. Oh, see, he ain't even, he's just like, you can try some more. Just standing there looking at you like, that's cute. <laughs> You've made Rogalora Grand angry, Rogalock. See what I mean? I 
at this point, you should be able to, like, skip this part. I know I'm skipping through a lot of text, guys. If you wanna, if you want this read aloud to you and see all this stuff, I already did that in previous videos, as I have reiterated many times at this point. What an odd creature, I wonder if we'll ever meet again. I'm willing to bet we are. I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to bet we are. All that, and I've only leveled up once. <laughs> okay, somebody had had a similar idea as as I. Hello, Fran. We look alike. I mean, there's probably only so many combinations of colors and stuff like that you can do for each character. You're bound to bump into somebody that that had a similar mindset as far as like how they wanted their character to look, skin tone and, and color usage and stuff like that so well, that's why I got abilities and stuff that I should probably add to my tertiary character but I'm not uh, what I'm going to do now hubby is home Time to spend time with him. And um, he brought me shrimp tacos. So yeah, your girl's gonna eat, stuff her fucking face, and then cuddle with her mans. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all come back for the next video.